everybody, QSA1 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In this part, we go through... Oh god, it's Edgeworth! Yay, it's Edgeworth! Edgeworth, give me a hug! Really? You told me that whatever White says today will be absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack the testimony, if I raise the objection, that I'm good faith that the judge will listen to me. Really? What the hell? In the story? Really? You're just saying this is the end? You're, you're a bastard! Yeah! I, I didn't do anything! Uh, innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie the way we beat them. No, there's no way to tell who's guilty and who's innocent. All that I can hope is get every def defendant declared guilty. So I, so I made that my policy. And also I have a Pepsi. The last recording I had a Sprite. Now I have a Pepsi. I'm from Pepsi to Sprite to Pepsi. Yay! Yeah, you've changed. Yeah, I know him. And sorry, I went through that fast again. Jeez, I, I never learned. Well, court will be opening for session soon. But wait! What? The defense attorney is in here yet. He's not... I'll be defending myself! Yes, I'm gonna be defending myself. Okay, let's do this. I don't know how you expect to really realistically defend yourself, but apparently in this case, the Japanese court systems really don't care. Why are you, 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 Phoenix guilty, Phoenix guilty? The court is now session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, I will be defending myself! And where's my battery of justice? And I have it wrong side. I have, I have the negative side up. I need the positive side up. It's a detail to defend. Alright, quite dreamy. Okay, we hear the testimony of another witness to the defendant's crime. Alright. Call that damn witness. Why didn't it just ask for spice? It's like, it's like here I know why. If anyone's gonna raise an objection about this, I suppose. Yeah, let's, let's OBJECTION! Mr. Edgeworth, the own explanation of the court. Why didn't this witness testify the trial against Miss Maya Fay? Because he's a conniving bastard. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man and decides. At the time, I said that Miss Maya's opinion was all that I needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. No, don't, don't bow like that, you son of a beep. I like to call Miss Red White to the Mr. Red White, I said Miss Red White again. Yeah, apparently, well, yeah, he has all that stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go anywhere with that. I, I screwed up everything. You wish to know the title of my personage? Gah! Er, don't show off your damn bling. Dear, do we do my look cute name? <laughs> I like that. Oh, I love that. Blanco Nino, I'm the CEO of the Ethan more common term the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim is my FA? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You're at the gate while our hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there? Him. Why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. Maybe get your testimony. Yeah, I'm done for. Why do I feel like I'm. Because you are the last man standing. Good dick! You lied to me with your damn bling! Uh, what? I didn't even read that text box because I was blinded. And she was like, she had her chest up and it was like, ugh! Let's see, it was about 9 p.m. I was quite pursue a fight. Or that's... I don't care what that means, just say damn reading! Then I heard a bit... bed. Did 
that Bedlam or Bedium? I don't know. Bedlam, come from outside. Surprised, I turned and looked at the building across the way. It was then I saw him. Spiky hair man. What? Call Miss May over. The one she too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she she ran away, but you gave chase. Um Fine weather the terrible impaction, then it was all over. Hmm. Things occurred as you testified, and I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well defended, <laughs> er, I mean, Mr. Wright, your cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. Why? No. I don't know. I, I really don't know what to say anymore. Recording three sessions at once trying to finish this whole case is just annoying. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Fine, they're terrible and passionate in their own. Is Edward Trump this guy too, I wonder? Anyways, I better find a weakness in there. That really doesn't help me, does it? Yeah. Hold it! By window? The one directly across from Fanco office? Correcto Mundo! It's only one day. You're there reading papers? Correct! The gatewire the businessman's hotel, not the busy man who has business to do. Really now? Hold it! A bed lamb? <laughs> Must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see, continue. <laughs> that, that. Hold it! So you were reading your paper to hear that sound? But of course, I have no snoop peeping out of window peeping out of windows at night. No snoop yet. Right. You may have career eyes snooping. No sad songs. Hold it! You have spiky haired. Hold it! How can he make sure with me? Said so director comes. Yeah. Miss May clear stated that Sarah's look like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Miss Queen. Just what is your eyesight? Ugh! Blinded by the dot. Before you don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Really? Really now? Why? Why would you call Miss May over? Relevant, that has nothing to do with the case at hand. Yes, it does. It has everything to do with this case. No. Yeah, you make a good politician. No president day. Please get me. Oh, I know this. Hold it! I, I know exactly what to do, okay? Yeah, it's worth knowing exactly what happened, okay? Uh, it took me a little bit to understand, remember what I was supposed to do because I haven't played this case in a while, but it was like, Oh, now I remember! Are you sure about that? Ugh, blinded by the light. Yes, please change your testimony to reflect this new detail. The victim ran to the left and you gave chase. Guess what? OBJECTION! Wait right there, Miss... The right... White. You dug your own grave! And I'm cross my hands like Edwards does in AA. I don't know. Does he do it in this game? I don't remember. You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts May Miss May's testimony. 
she clearly stated that the victor ran right! Oh, it is simple, you have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, the victim here. If the victim ran to the left as he claimed she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Yeah, that, that wouldn't make any sense. Ha ha. No, you did not. Maybe you really did see it. So he did it. Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right, and Mr. White says no. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both are correct, and this is why. For once. Ha, I doubt it. Er, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There's one scenario that would explain their conflicting account. Yeah, I think you guys would know this. Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. You'll know exactly what I mean in just a few minutes. Well, if he was not in the yeah in the law office, is a fair co, of course. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're doing stuff here. More specifically, he was standing here. Show the court when this Mr. White was standing. He was standing at the killer. Take that! Take that! This is where he was. Look. When the victim ran from the door, if he was watching from this point to him, it appeared that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes in no taste. That is where the killer was standing. Exactly. So he's the killer in this case. Order! I will have order! Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Raps, 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 Galleon. Yeah, what are you suggesting? The postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem to be far fetched. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. You're not Santa Claus. Seriously, you're not Santa Claus, so stop saying ho, 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 you dumbass. The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear until this eyeball. Mr. Your Honor. May I well be testifying? Very well. Let's hear your advice testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. Yeah. I'm gonna smoke my battery again. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. Then you hit her savagely. That's what I saw. Next was the last of her strength. She ran to the right. You chased her and you delivered the front of the That's the worst testimony I've ever heard! That is what Miss May saw. You see? You hit her twice. No, I did not, you son of a bitch. No. Because that's a blatant lie. Of course I will. I should not chew on that battery. The only problem is knowing exactly when the... Okay. You chased her with the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see you hit her- No! I couldn't have! OBJECTION! Mr. White, you Fail at lying! The victim died from a single blow! What do you have to say to that? Er, er, now speechless. Yeah, let's get this bastard when it counts! Wasn't you who told the court your absolute positively correct? Perfect? There's no such thing as perfection. Really, there is not. We strive for this perfection, but there really isn't perfection. Your Honor, if you can ask the witness for a new test. The no, witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10-minute break. OBJECTION! OBJECTION! 
But when is this confused? Because he's lying. I empathetic request there be no break, Your Honor. Don't let him away. We they all know that witness would care to revise his testimony. Still slipping out of this one, White. You're not getting away from this. The whole crowd, the whole crowd from Brawl, you all are on my side. Let's do this! Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I... and ran for the door. Uh, what? Very well, you may begin the process. Miss Demick, you see, it is hurting. We don't care. This is almost over. Let's do this. Let's finish this stupid thing. <sighs> you are a horrible liar. Really now? And I have completely forgotten what you're supposed to do. Really? Really? I have completely forgot what I'm supposed to do here. I apologize. On it! Other, you heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Right. Yeah, that's... Very odd. Mr. White. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? No. Just kidding. You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Then change your testimony to reflect that. The witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. The light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. That is impossible. Mr. White. It was impossible to have seen this glass stand. Look at this! Look at the floor plans! Correct, Your Honor. Now, now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here! Well, note that this stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White? What did you have to say to that? Er, er, we're getting. Ha 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 ha! Come on, viewers, cheer for me! Cheer for me! You could not have seen the stand before it fell over. Ha ha! Either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken chart as a glass light stand. So, when did you see those stand? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fade Law offices. In other words, you are in the scene of the crime when the murder took place. They're just shaking their heads back and forth talking. Ha! Mr. White? Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor. I, I, Miss Maya. Hey, looks like we're about to get our verdict. Objection! What now? What? You completely forgot about Airdworth. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? What? What? I said you should confess your crime. 
Ergo, confess that you placed a wiretap. A wiretap? What the hell? Now what? <laughs> 